everyone, it's Selena here. Uh, I just wanted to do another video. Um, I actually have this one already uploaded in YouTube. You may have seen it, but I'm redoing it due to the several changes with the tools. Uh, when I first made this video, I used only Weld. And if you follow that video, it's not going to work for you because now Weld only does a specific thing and now Slice does what we need to do as far as cutting out the um, parts of the pumpkin. So I'm going to show you how to create this pumpkin or create a type of uh, pumpkin just using the shapes and design space. Uh, just googling different pumpkins. I didn't really find one that I liked. Uh, I wanted one similar to the picture that I have posted in my Facebook which I pulled from Pinterest. Um, and so I just decided to create my own pumpkin. Um, this top part of the pumpkin here I actually used a pumpkin image from Design Space and, and welded those together, but I'm going to show you how to do all of that. So I just took a basic circle and uh, kind of made the shape of, of the pumpkin. You could just follow along. Um, if you pull an image from Google or wherever, if you want to clip it somewhere or have it handy to where you can kind of follow along. But I, I just kind of eyeballed it um, when I created this one. And so I created the first shape and then I just duplicated one, let's see, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to duplicate, duplicate that four times. And then just place them however you want the shape of your pumpkin. So right now I'm basically just looking at the bottom of this image just to kind of get that shape. So I'm going I'm to just go ahead and go with that. And I'm going to select them all. Oops, didn't catch that. Sometimes you have to be careful when you grab around all the images. If you don't do it quite right, it's only going to grab a few images. You just got to make sure that you create that box around all the images that you're trying to weld or group together. In this case, I don't need to group anything. Um, I'm just going to weld these together. And so welding is just going to melt all of those together. So I got that part, now I need to find that stem part. And so what I did is just pulled a pumpkin from Design Space. Yeah, I think this is the one I used. Make it however big or wide or however, whatever size you want it to be. And then I select those two images and then I weld those two together. And that's pretty much it for the weld at this point. Now the next step is to get that circle in the middle um, cut out and so that's where um, the slice tool is going to come in. So I'm going to pull another, I guess I should have copied another circle, I'm going to pull another circle. And we can uh, I mean, it has an outline. You can pretty much see where that circle is going to be. But if you wanted to change the color just to see it better, uh, you can make it an oval shape. This one's more circle. I'm going to do this one a little bit different or more of a oval shape.
Okay, so that's where I want it to cut out, and so I'm going to select the two images again. And by doing that, I just select one, hold the control key down, and select the second one. And you can go over to your layers panel just to make sure that the two are selected. I have so many images going on in here right now because of this image, but the, there's that circle, which is right here in the middle, and then the pink pumpkin that I'm working with is also selected. So now I'm going to click Slice. And you're going to think, well, what, what did it do? It didn't do anything. I didn't see anything change, but it did change. Uh, you just have to grab that image and move it. Now I'm going to, I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. So now that's cut out. For these little cutouts here on the sides of the pumpkin, um, I actually, I think I did a search for in design space for a, um, a crescent moon, I think. I was just looking for a shape that was not a straight line. More of a curved. I think this is the one I used. And so I just pulled that in, put it over this image, do the cut lines. But I'm not going to do this right I'm not going to do that right now. Mainly I just want you to um, know how to use the slice and then how to use the weld again to get that letter in there. So I'm going to upload an image and I'm going to use the loaded in here. And so that was just that monogrammed R. Let's see if I can find it out of my many, many images. There it is. All right. When you have two images that are images that you're going to weld together, and you have uh, there's these openings here. This is just saying that there's open paths here. Just click OK. Just bypass that. So there's the welded image, and it's right here. And then you can change it to whatever color you want. So that's how that's done. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a good night.